Hi guys, this is Scribbly again with another pen review and today we are going to have a look at a rather special pen. And this special pen is the Pelican M605 Black Tortoise or Schildpad Schwarz, which is the 2022 special edition fountain pen that Pelican has issued. I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to our friends over at Appleboom Pennen in the Netherlands who shipped this pen here for review so that I can have a look at that for you. Before we look at the pen, uh, let's look at the packaging. And uh, of course, it comes in the typical white cardboard within which you find the silver gray Pelican packaging, that's slightly new. They've changed that a little bit. The sides look a little bit different, have this marbled appearance. And also the inside is different, says Passion in line with the Pelican Passion branding. And then the inner appearance is also new with this slanted bed right here. Before that, Pelican had this kind of classic little bit of hollow pen bed, which I personally liked a little bit more just because it's this classic Pelican style. Nothing wrong with that here. Little bit more of a modern appearance. Also that um, fake leather pouch uh, that the pen then, you know, rests in. Of course, the pen also had like a plastic wrapper, um, then rests in here like that. That's new. Uh, that was different before. You had these um, two thingies here that you could tie. Before that, Schild Schwarz Tortoise Black M605 Extra Fine Nip in 14K Gold. And then you take that out, you know, and then you have your uh, whatever you always find <coughs> with those pens. So that's that, but of course, let's have a look at the pen itself now, which is the star of the show. Obviously, I'm not gonna review the pen in depth because I have reviewed the M605 model before. So if you're curious about that, then just go to YouTube or uh, my website, Scrivily, and uh, just you know check out my review of previous M600 models that I have reviewed. This here is the M605. As said, the 2022 Special Edition Tortoise Shell Black or Schildpad Schwarz. This is in many ways a very, very special pen because it is the first ever tortoise finish pen that comes in a 05 finish. Uh, so in the 605 or whatever else 5 pen, meaning it doesn't come with gold accents because... That is the 400, 600, 800, the 05 with the silver trims uh, designated by the 05, obviously. This is the first ever tortoise shell finish on any of those pens. Other than that, it's just your regular Souverain model, black cap and piston turning knob, Pelican, Frosted Pelican logo on top, bill-shaped clip, quarter of a turn for the pen to uncap, rhodium plated Pelican nib, obviously it's a 14k gold nib, but it's rhodium plated to match the overall, you know, uh, finish with the palladium plated accents and so forth. An extra fine nib that I have on this one here, you know, your regular Pelican feet nib that you can screw out, piston filling, uh, pen, but of course, you know, the star of the show that we want to have a look at today is this tortoise finish and that tortoise finish is extraordinarily beautiful i totally love it i think this might be my all-time favorite pelican finish on a pelican pen it's very 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 beautiful um i think it's a kind of a mother of pearl type of finish this silver those silver gray use there's a little bit of bluish use in there it very much is reminiscent of these raiden or raiden-esque finishes of uh, that um, that pelican has issued a while ago um, there's two different or three different raiden finish fountain pens 
um, that very much remind me of that. So in that sense, this is a much more affordable version of a, you know, something re very close or resembling those Raiden finishes. Because obviously this uh, M605 here comes at a M605 pricing. And I'm going to check the price at the Applebaum Pen and uh, website. Um, it's even a little bit less expensive than the standard range fountain pens uh, in the uh, M600 size. So I think this one here is uh, costing uh, 365 euro, whereas like some of the other, other M600s, the standard black and the one with the blue stripes, we're even going for uh, 385 euro or so. So having that said, right, I mean, it's uh, it's of course by no means an inexpensive fountain pen, but, you know, it's uh, it's not more expensive just because it's a special edition, at least not right now. Typically, these special edition pens, they run out at some point and then you can't get them anymore. And then they get... Um, priced fairly highly on the pre-loved or a second-hand pen market. And the, since this is an extremely beautiful finish and the first ever tortoise finish in a uh, 05 series, I expect this one actually to go at quite high prices in a couple years down the line. Look how beautiful this finish is. I'll turn it a little bit in the light so that you can appreciate that. I'm not even sure. I mean, like I have quite good professional lighting here, but I'm not sure it fully does the pen justice. It's really much more beautiful in person. I can try to change the color of the lighting here to let you appreciate it in different other types of lighting. This is a bit of a warmer light, colder light. And the natural light that I typically use when reviewing pens. It is a stunner, absolutely beautiful. In line with what Pelican does with most of the other releases those days, the pen body, unfortunately, is not really translucent. So even if you hold the pen body up against a strong light source, it is very, very difficult to see the accurate ink level. You get a kind of a, a hunch of how much ink is left there, but uh, you don't really see it. You saw that much better. Um, you even see the piston turning knob in here with the old finishes that they had, right? You see the cap through the pen body here. This is the M400 tortoise shell in comparison. The M600 tortoise shell red in comparison also does not have a translucent pen body, but you can see the ink levels in that one here quite a bit better compared to this one. Just want to show you different types of tortoise finishes. As said before, all the other tortoise finishes before this pen, there's also the white tortoise and so forth. They have all been in the gold accent pen models. There was never one in the silver accent ones, the palladium plated ones. Here are different types of tortoise finishes in comparison. As said, this one here, the black tortoise is closest to these Raiden-esque Raiden finishes or perhaps to the Stresemann, which of course is also much more transparent. As you can see right here, right? You can really see the ink level in here, which again, you can't hear. But here, this is what it looks like in comparison to the Stresemann finish. And let me show it also in comparison to a classic green, which of course, again, is transparent. I don't really understand the decision of going non-transparent. I found this to be one of Pelican's hallmarks and one of the greatest usability features uh, in those pens. So, well, but it is what it is, right? This pen, I'll do a quick writing sample, is inked with the beautiful 
Caron Dash Chromatics Ultra Violet. And of course, writes as uh, you would expect from any Pelican nib. Absolutely flawless writing experience. This one here came ever so slightly over polished. I didn't use any micro mesh on it because it wasn't as bad, you know. Um, it wasn't uh, it wasn't to the extent of being a baby's bottom, but I definitely felt it was a little bit over polished. I was writing on a little bit more coarse paper and uh, that kind of already fixed the issue. Black tortoise. Beautiful ink, beautiful writing experience. Those Pelican nibs are an absolute joy to write with. The nib of the M605, of course, is ever so slightly larger than the nib on the M405, meaning the tines have a little bit more leeway to be bouncy and springy. Uh, and I love that with the M600s, uh, that when you exert a little bit pressure, uh, you see that you do get out some line variation. I don't, you know, do any flex writing. And of course, this is not a flex nib pen, but you can get out some line variation. But what you mostly feel it or how you notice it in everyday writing is just that you get a little bit of character and the bounciness and springiness of the nib when writing is just unparalleled. It's really, really beautiful. There we go with this fantastic finish of this pen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tortoise finish. I would strongly urge you and, uh, you know, recommend to get one of those if you do like that finish, because I do expect those to, as said, you know, be gone fairly quickly and then be quite expensive. Gonna command a premium on the pre-loved fountain pen market. That's that with this overview. As said, I do think that this is perhaps my all-time favorite finish on a Pelican pen. I'm curious whether we will be seeing more 05 silver accent pen tortoise finishes in the past, I think it's very beautiful. And I think that particular finish would have not looked good in a gold trim pen. So very glad they've done that. As said, curious to see whether we see more of those type of executions in the future. That's been that. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Ciao, ciao.